OK, well, from Big Ange over to Mauricio Pochettino, obviously former Spurs manager in his first season with Chelsea. And um, what sort of feedback have you heard on his managerial role so far? And what does the future hold, especially when we're looking at the January transfer window? Yeah, I know I've been getting so many questions about Maurizio Pochettino. Is he under pressure already? It's been a disappointing start to the season. Would the Chelsea owners look to make a change already like they did previously with Frank Lampard, um, Graham Potter and Thomas Tuchel initially? Yes, results have not been where Chelsea want or expect them to be, um, but performances have been quite good. And if you look at the data and the analysis and the statistics, they are actually performing pretty well. And that gives the hierarchy at Chelsea optimism that better times lie ahead in the not too distant future. Therefore, I think something would need to go dramatically wrong if they were gonna make a change mid-season. That will not be on the agenda to keep chopping and changing. I think what they would like to do is not so much judge, but review him at the end of the season in the summer, see how he is um, leading this team and club forward. And at that point, he'll be a year into a two year contract that has an option to extend that the club hold by an extra 12 months. And the ideal scenario will be that he's doing well and he continues long into the future. Um, recruitment will come into sharp focus, of course, in January. There have been many suggestions that he'll have full control, more power, veto over decisions. That is not my understanding. That is the case at Tottenham. I should have mentioned earlier that Ange Postacoglu has a veto over recruitment. He's really heavily involved. Pochettino will have input at Chelsea, but it's really in the hands of the co-sporting directors, uh, Paul Wynn Stanley and Lawrence Stewart, in conjunction with the owners, Todd Bowley, Bedad Egbali. And they will be active in January. They're looking for an attacker. We spoke about it on NBC yesterday. Whether that's a number nine or another attacker who can just provide more goals because they're not finishing off their chances. Nicholas Jackson goes to the Africa Cup of nations mid-season but Nkunku comes back loads of names are going to be flying around they're looking for a really elite forward that's why perhaps Ivan Tony isn't at the top maybe a Kane level forward easier said than done and there could be some exits too. the likes of Shalaba may go on his way as Chelsea look to continue to balance the books financially after this enormous spend and it will ultimately be up to Maurizio Pochettino to deliver the results on the pitch. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.